<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Laugh, Laugh, Laugh is Funny Cause It's True. This set of jokes when you frankly stop giving a fuck. Damn, they made seconds. Now look, let me say something to the teachers and the people that are working with these stupid ass children. Who are not my future in any way. Okay. This July. This pertinent the last week of July, y'all. And these motherfuckers is gonna go back to the schoolhouse. Now I'm not talking about I'm not talking to the real mothers out there. I'm not gonna say y'all's name on the internet and everything, but the people who follow me who I'm cool with, the real mothers out there, y'all know who y'all are, I fucks with you. I ain't talking to y'all. Okay? I ain't I ain't talking to B, I ain't talking to E, I ain't talking to y'all. I uh uh. I'm talking to these motherfuckers who all you've done all summer and let your kid watch you fuck different niggas. I'm talking to y'all cunts. You ain't work with that baby. Have you seen the baby? You sat the little motherfucker in front of the PlayStation and now your dumb ass don't even know what, 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 what uniforms to get the baby and the damn school supplies. Let me say something else. I'm old. I'm 48. My mother and father worked hard, and they bought my school supplies. They ended this new shit where we put everything together. If we're not going to take my bills and put them with the bills of all of the parents in the class, and then the other parents in the class pay my bills and I ain't got to pay none of mine, then we're not going to do that with the school supply. You understand? Since they taking my car note out of my check anyway, you know, and you walking around here in the real coach this season, and I'm walking around here last season because I got it for 75% off, what? I'm fucking serious. That's how I honestly fucking feel about it. That is how I honestly feel about it. Your kid was dumb when they walked out the building back in whenever school ended. They're 50% dumber than that when they walk back in there in the fall. So if it wasn't nothing that been there when you left, nothing from nothing, you operating at an invisible deficit, okay? That's just how I honestly fucking feel about it. That's how I honestly feel about it. If you didn't know your A, if you didn't know ABC when you left, you done forgot to be in the sea of it, bitch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you had just learned ah ah bu bu ku ku cat bat and ass, because that's what these kids are nowadays. Your ass done forgot about the bat and the cat. God damn it. I know with the with these brand new TikTok babies, ass, bitch, and cunt. That's their alphabet. That's what they be on. You know, they know that new, new shit, but don't know the basic, basic shit. I'm just saying. That shit burns me the fuck up. Because it is fucking competitive out here. As a 48-year-old woman with this digital marketing shit behind my back, I'm having to compete with a motherfucker 20, 30 years younger than me who's willing to do the shit for less than what I'm going to do it for. Let's <laughs> just be real. Right. But you think it because you don't know the alphabet that you're going to be able to compete with that? Mm hmm. Well, get ready for Pornhub and TikTok because that's about as far as you're going to be able to go. And with AI, you might, they, they might not need you for that. That's what they're trying to do to the writers and the actors and shit. Oh, okay. Hmm, okay. The music, everything that humans do. They're trying to make it so that they don't need the humans to do it. Mm-hmm. Them little Christmas jobs that you would get at Amazon, making all that money. Oh, baby, they're going to have bots to do that. Mm-hmm. That's just how I honestly motherfucking feel about it. Now, let's address something. Sister T. Two things I don't like talking about. Weight and politics. So I ain't gonna talk about politics, fuck that. Politics is a bag of tricks. Tracy Morgan, that's the only person I've ever heard say that. 
Um, wait. Now, I've been skinny-er, and I've been fat-ter, okay? I have on a bra, and I have on a spank. So if I could put on a bra and a spank for you, can you hit the like for me? Thank you. Now, let me say this. I done been broke up with before, twice. But we had to be together first. Now let me say something. I got broke up with in my twenties, and I got broke up with in my thirties. Now for anybody out there going through a breakup, you might not want this advice. You might not even need this advice. But. If you be so kind as to let me impart it to you anyway. Let me tell you a story. My second ex's mama came and got him. I'm going to that later. And I remember I called Mabel. And I remember I was crying hysterically. I wasn't crying because he was gone. I was crying because we had been together in the first Read it like you need to. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I had to learn. They not going to hurt like you hurt. Because they didn't love like you love. Well, this bitch didn't say something. I'm going to say that one more again for the deaf old people in the back. They not going to hurt like you hurt. Because they didn't love like you love. That was one of the most fucked up lessons I had to learn in my life. But that's okay. That's okay because you know what else they don't have like me? Peace and a good credit score. Hey, anyway, I'm just saying, straight on up. Straight on up. Another thing, be careful what you pray for. Because when God give it to you, that's going to piss you off too. There's going to be some shit in the game with that too. It really is. But it's okay. <laughs> that job that you pray for, and then when you get it, you find out you're working for the cunts devil. I mean, who? You heard what the fuck I said. I mean, no, for real. You know, I had a friend of mine. She was joking, but she was serious. She said, you know what, Michelle, one time I have looked evil in the face. <laughs> and I was like, that's fucked up, boo. And I, you know, I just... <sighs> when you have to literally burn or put the candle on top of your work laptop at night, you know you, <laughs> you need to change your situation. I'm just saying. Lord, please, fix it. Let me say that. You know, I personally don't give a shit about nothing that don't give a shit about me. Let me tell you how that happened. Oh, my 48th birthday. Let me tell you something. One, it don't happen. It's not like Whitney. It don't happen all at once. But one day, you wake up and you realize what's important. Prayer. Being clean. Loving yourself. Air conditioning. You know, you realize what's important. And time. My time is more valuable, right? Because you can get this from anywhere. I mean, not necessarily this, because this is some prime real estate. But what I'm saying is, time, dog. If you pour your time into something and into somebody, that's what be pissing you off about that breakup. Not all your good pussy bearing years. Not all of them tricks you did with the back of your thunk. Not all of the money you spent. 
No, fuck that. That that pisses you off too. But what really pisses you off is the time that you invested in the motherfucker that you didn't get your return on. That's what pisses you to fill that fuck off. I can't get that time back. That was four years. That was five years. That was nine years. Nigga. That's two presidencies. I'm just playing. What kind of sort is? You know. That's what pisses you off. But let me tell you what Jesus said. He said he'll redeem the time. He the only one I know who can do that. So, get in your car. Go get you some Popeye's chicken. Go get you a little drink so you can think. Get your Tracy's dog and live your life like you gold. And I will see you back <laughs> next week. That didn't have shit to do with it. I just threw that in there because this spank too fucking tight. <sighs> now, hit the motherfucking like. Thank you. I'll see you back in next time. Bye. <laughs> Don't hit the like for real. Thank you.